Okay, so New York Giants draft. You guys know I'm pumped up about this one because they got my guy, Kadarius Tony, number 20th overall. I think Tony is awesome. I think he's getting massively slept on. Trust me. I know Giants fans are a little bit concerned. Tony's going to be great. I really think that way. I wouldn't just say it uh, if I didn't mean it. I think Tony is awesome. There's so much to like about him. And again, his shiftiness, he is explosive. There's just, there's a ton of value there. People want to call him a slot receiver. Well, if he's a slot receiver, like, so, I mean, so is Jarvis Landry, you could argue, and he's awesome. I think that there's so much that Tony does well. To me, Tony can win on the outside. He's explosive enough to get past defensive backs. So, uh, I don't know. And people keep bringing up, like, his hands are a big issue. I haven't seen that. That's just not something I've seen. I've seen him make really good catches. I haven't seen him drop much of anything. So, uh, to me, that just feels like one of those narratives that's one person says, and then everyone keeps repeating, and now all of a sudden it's this constant like actual criticism, which it shouldn't be because there's a lot to like about uh, like about him. So I don't know. Uh, I like him. Number in round two, they got Aziz Ojulare, who is interesting to me. I like. I don't love. Uh, so there's there's definitely some value with Ojulare. He's very explosive. He has a really good speed rush, but you look at a lot of his wins, they do tend to come from a little bit of speed more than anything. He does a lot else fine, but what he's great at is speed, which that always concerns me going to the NFL level. But he also has big good size at 249, 6'2". Could be a little bit bigger, but not fine enough size. The speed is definitely a big thing, though, and if it works in the NFL, it'll really work, and it could get a really good edge rusher in the second round. I like this pick for a second round pick. Wouldn't have loved it for a first rounder, but for a second rounder, that feels right for me. I have no issue with that. They also, in the third, went out and got Aaron Robinson, who's interesting to me. Um, he's kind of a big wild card, I think, where he ran a sub 4-4-40, but that's pro day time, so still sub 4-5, which is good. That's what you need. He's a physical player, despite the fact that he's not the biggest player at 5'11", 190. Actually, fun fact, I'm not sure if it's still the case, but when I first started watching tape on him, uh, if you Googled him, it said that he was 6'4", and I was like, whoa, 6'4 corner. This is going to be fun to watch. He is not 6'4", uh, but so that's a thing. He has some sort of weird techniques, and I think that he actually plays better on the outside, despite the fact that most of the time in uh, UCF, he played on the inside as a slot corner. So there's interesting stuff for me. I'm worried he'll get beat a little bit with uh, footwork, but he is fast enough to play. So I kind of like him in the, the giant system as well. I think I think he'll end up being a pretty pretty solid player. So I, I like him. In the fourth round, they get Ellerson Smith. This is clearly a just get a pass rusher guy, uh, get another guy in the room. I'm not sure if he'll be a star by any means, but he is 6'6", 252. So pretty good size there. So that's uh, good to see. And, you know, again, just getting another guy in the room. And it's kind of the same thing with their, uh, you know, I'd say their next two picks, honestly. You get a uh, running back in Gary Brightwell, who obviously Saquon Barkley's uh, going to be the starter. They don't need a running back. And I, I'm not even sure if he can, you know, maybe he could compete with Devontae Bur Booker for like uh, being the second guy potentially. But, you know, still, uh, mostly what you're doing is just getting another guy in the running back room and also getting a special teamer. And then, again, another corner in the sixth. This seems like another guy who, uh, you know, special teams value along with him being some depth, but probably mostly special teams. So, you know, runs a 4-5-2 and is only 5-11. So I'm not sure if he'll be a gunner necessarily, but you'll find some value for him on special teams somewhere, I'm sure. So that's probably what they're doing there and getting another guy in the corner room. So as a whole, I like the draft. I mean, especially like their first round pick. And I thought that they did a pretty good job with every other pick. So... I'm a fan of their draft. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What were your thoughts on the Giants draft? Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.